Hello everyone, my name is Noah. I am the product expert here at On The Clock, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at our On The Clock app. To find our app, you could go to the home screen on your phone and look for your app store. Here we are using an Android, so we will go to the Google Play Store and we can look for On The Clock. This is what our icon will look like, so you will wanna go ahead and install this app. We are going to start by looking that at the employee side of our app. So this is what the dashboard will look like on the employee side of our app. And here we can see on the dashboard we do have our punch in or out button. If we were to click that, it would take us to the punch page where we could go ahead and punch in or out. I can see here my start time at the beginning of today was at 8.35 a.m. And we can see that I've currently been working for around six hours and 26 minutes. I do also have the option to add this attachment here once I punch out. That way, in case my boss needs to see anything that I've done throughout the day, I can add that attachment there. As we scroll down in the dashboard, we can see the hours worked widget here. For the past pay period, I do have 72.94 hours, and I do have 8 hours of PTO and 64.94 hours of regular time within that pay period. We can also scroll down and see that I do have some PTO coming up soon and that I have used 56 of my 120 allotted hours. We can also see that my PTO will renew on 2-8-2024. At the bottom of the screen, we can also go to the time cards page here and I can select from these pay periods which pay period I would like to look at. And if I click on this section here, it will give me a breakdown of each day that I've worked. Here we can see the regular column and see how many hours I have worked this pay period. Also on the employee side, we do have the option to create a PTO request. So we can see here my current uh, balance. We have 64 hours left in my balance. I have used 56 and we can see the original allotted number I received was 120 hours. Down here, I can select request to submit a PTO request. I would just go ahead and fill out this information, the hours per day and the through dates of my request. So let's say for the rest of today, I wanted to put in five hours. Then I would just go ahead and scroll down and click request PTO to get those five hours. Also on this PTO page, we can select pending, approved or denied to see the PTO request that I have requested in the past. We can see here that for 526, I have an approved PTO request for eight hours. And then we can also see that for 619 through 623, I also have that approved here. And all the information on that PTO request, such as the days and how many hours per day, and then any notes you wanted to leave towards the manager. Also, as the employee, you can click this chat bubble at the top of your screen to open up our live chat feature. So what I can do is I can click this plus sign here to start a conversation with any of the admins, managers, or employees within my On The Clock account. Now we can go over our admin side of the On The Clock app. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into this profile. And once I'm in here, we can see that I do have a similar dashboard to my employee profile. I am an admin slash employee merged account, so I do have the option to punch while logged in as my admin profile. We can see the total hours worked. I can also see the who's in widget. So currently seven of my employees are punched out and none of them are punched in. I can also see that I have zero employees off today. I am all caught up on my PTO requests, so none of them are pending, and I have no employees with PTO within the next seven days. I can also click this view punch map option to take a look at my employees punches for today. We can see here we currently have no punches on the punch map, but you would see these punches right here on this page. Also on our dashboard, we can click this NS right here at the top. Those will be my initials. And here I can see that I am an admin slash employee merged account. And I do have my support pin right there. So if any questions come up while you are using the app, you can always open this up and provide this to the support specialist you're speaking with, and they'll be able to pull up your account. 
Also from within this dashboard, I can click on the settings option and this will take me to my dashboard for settings. But before we jump into that, we can also show off here, we do have the launch in browser option. So let's say maybe you're looking for a specific setting that may not be in the app, but you know it's on the website, we can click the launch in browser option to check those settings out. Similar to the employee side, we can go to the time cards page. Now on the time cards page as the admin, it is going to be similar to the employee side. Here we can select where our pay period is and what we'd like to look at. And then through here we can scroll down and take a look at the employee's time cards. This section here will give you a brief summary of the hours the employee has worked that pay period. And if you want a deeper breakdown on a specific employee, you can click on their profile right there. And I can see that the hours were allocated on Thursday. Or if we were to go to this employee, we can see that these hours were spread out throughout the week. Also, let's say your employee forgot to punch in. You can always go to the time cards page and click this plus sign right here at the top right corner. You can select the employee and then you can select add punch. And then what you can do here is you can click on the begin time and you can edit the time that they punched in. So let's say they started work at 8 a.m. And then the end time, we currently do not have an end time because they are still working. And then you can click save here and that will create that punched in time card for that employee. And then all they'll have to do is punch out at the end of the day. Next, we will jump into the PTO tab. And again, this looks very similar to what it looked like on the employee's side. So as the administrator, we can click on the pending section to take a look and see if we have any pending requests. And we can also go to the approved section to see the approved PTO requests that there currently are within our system as well as the denied. We also can create a request for our employees by clicking this plus sign at the top right corner of the screen. The employee's name will be right there. And then you can select the number of hours per day for that employee. And then you can click request PTO. Now we will go to the more page where we have a few different widgets within our system and we already went over punching and the time card summary so now we can cover who's in so right now i can see that only that one employee that we just created that time card for is currently punched in while the rest of the employees are punched out now if we were to click on one of these employees here we can punch them in at a specific time so if we'd like to edit this time from this page we can set them to 8 11 a.m and punch them in and now we can see on the who's in page that they have been punched in. One of our features we offer within our system is our kiosk mode. So once you have registered your device with kiosk mode through the mobile browser, then you would find this kiosk mode option right here on the more page and you would just click this to go into group punch mode. And now the employees would just enter in their employee numbers to punch. Under this more tab, if we click these settings gears right here, we'll be taking back to the settings dashboard that we saw earlier. And in here we can go over our account settings. This is gonna be the main admins profile within our system. So we can see that the email and password are right there. We can select the time zone for our account. We can select what kind of pay period we use, that being bi-weekly. We do have the options for weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, and monthly. And then we do have the pay period start date right here. And if we'd like to use punch rounding within our system, you can also set that up in the account settings section. Then we can go to the employee section. And here we can edit each of the employee profiles or we can click this plus button here to go ahead and add a new employee. And we're gonna go ahead and add one this time. On this screen, we can add our employee to our company. We would just need to fill out their general settings tab by entering their employee number, their first and last name, as well as an email or username and a password. Now filling out the email or mobile phone and checking off send invite will send your employees an invite including their login information. And right from there, they can take that login information and start punching in and out. 
In the additional options section, we have the ability to assign your employee to a department. And once we do that, we can now filter by the department on the time cards page and see that specific department's time. We also have the ability to set the time zone that your employee works at, as well as selecting a manager that is assigned to that employee. We also have the overtime and break section where we can set up their overtime rules. So once this employee hits 40 hours of regular time, they will start working on overtime hours. Also with the auto deduct break, you could set that up. For example, it would read something like, after six hours of regular time, they would receive a half hour break. With the job and project costing section, the employee will have the ability to select a job that they are working under and track time towards that job, or they would have the ability to transfer departments. So rather than the department they were assigned to above, they could track hours towards a different department. With the mobile rules and GPS, this will affect how your employee punches using their phone. So if you would like them to punch in using their phone, you would have this turned on. And if not, you would just turn that off. With recording required GPS to punch, this will make it so that they have to allow the app to know their location to punch in. And then we also have a punch messages section. If you turn this on, this will allow your employees to leave notes on their time cards so that if anything went wrong during their shift or they needed to let their manager know anything, they could leave a note on their punch. And once you've done all this, you would go ahead and click save and add the employee. Logged in from the app, we also have the option to add managers to the system. So you would just click on the manager tab and select this plus sign. And then you would just create your manager profile by entering in their first and last name, mobile phone number, an email and password for them to log into. And then you would set their employee permission, whether they are assigned to specific employees or they have access to all the employees within the system. On the settings dashboard, we can now also add locations to the system. So you would just click this plus sign here at the top right corner of your screen. You would enter in the name of the location. Then you would just turn on this create mobile GPS punch location switch. And now we can set up the location. You can type in the address here, or if you know exactly where it's at, you can go ahead and just click on the map and we can see that location has been created here. And now your employees will have to be within that location to punch in and out. We can also create jobs within our mobile app. You would just click the job section here, and then you can click the plus sign at the top right corner of the screen, and you would just type in the job name and click save. And now that job is added to the system, and if the employees have job selection turned on within their profiles, they will be able to select that job when they punch in. And that is just about gonna do it for our mobile app review. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching today and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.